Do you want to level up your marketing and get even more results online? If so, this is the video you're going to want to check out. I'm going to show you my four favorite social media marketing tools that will take your business to the next level. Take a look. Hello YouTube, my name is Kevin Smolin with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies and if you are new to the channel, thank you for being here. What we're all about is we help real estate agents dominate using digital marketing and social media. So if you're looking for more tips, more strategies to generate more leads and more transactions online, then this is the place you wanna check out. Consider subscribing, we'd love to have you as part of our group. With that being said, today's video, what we're gonna be talking about is our top, my top four social media marketing tools. These are the tools that I use to uh, almost every single day to help my clients get more results, produce killer content, and look great as they're doing it. So um, one of the things I'm gonna share in today's video, if you'd like, feel free to take a look down in the description. I'm gonna put a link to some of our top posts that people are using for relationship marketing, marketing to their past clients, their sphere of influence. Uh, there's a template that'll show you 13 uh, of the top posts people are using. You can download that for free, go check that out. So like I said, today's topic, we're gonna to be talking about social media marketing tools. I'm gonna to go ahead and share my screen and uh, share with you some of these tools that people are using for fantastic results. So my fir my the first one and my most favorite tool that I use for marketing, I use this every single day without question, is Canva. And uh, today, in what's so powerful about Canva, if you're not, if you've never used it, so it's canva.com, you'll see right up here. Uh, this is a free tool. They do have paid versions, um, but I use the free tool for everything. And what's great about it is no matter what it is that you want to create, Canva probably has templates for that. So as an example, let's say you wanted to create a new Facebook cover photo for your Facebook page. So they have a Facebook cover right here. It's already got the proper dimensions. So you can just simply click on that. It opens up the template. And Facebook has these templates that, or excuse me, Canva has these templates for Facebook that you could use. So you could say, hey, I really like that template. You could just plug in some different photos. This is not a tutorial. I'm not gonna walk you through how to do this. But you could say, well, pink, that's not really my style. I'm more of a blue kind of person. Um, edit some text. You can upload your own photos in here. Throw in some other photos. And here within just a couple minutes, now I've got a much better looking uh, photo that I can use for my Facebook cover photo. So this is a super powerful tool. There are all kinds of things that you can do inside of here. Again, this isn't a tutorial. I'm not gonna show you the how, um, but then you just simply take this, this, pro, this uh, photo that you've created, download it, um, just like you see here. And then you can save that to wherever you want and upload it wherever you want. So I use Canva for creating cover photos on Facebook, for generating um, ads that I'm going to be using for Facebook. I use it for YouTube cover photos. I use it for um, designing um, flyers, for designing uh, brochures. I use it for so many things. This is my number one favorite tool. Uh, frankly, if you are not using Canva, I would tell you, you're probably making creating new material really, really hard. So as you can see, you can do this stuff in just minutes. So this is my first and favorite tool for social media marketing, Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com. And if you want down in the, uh, down in the description below, I'm going to be putting links to where um, you can go and access all of these tools that I'm referencing today. Uh, also right up here, I'm going to be putting a link. Um, just go ahead and take a look on the screen and uh, I'll put a link to a tutorial that I have done for Canva and you can go check that out. So that's my first and, and favorite tool. Second one that I use all the time is this tool called lead pages. So it's leadpages.net. Uh, this is what it looks like once you're inside of it. But what I primarily use lead pages for is for creating landing pages. So pages that look like this, where we would use this as a tool to capture a lead. So people would come here, fill out the form, and a lead is captured. So what I use this for is for generating landing pages, capturing leads, and then also the automated email message that goes out once somebody fills out the form. 
um, I use this for that as well. Uh, if, uh, if I'm working with an agent, one of my clients, and they don't have a website and they need to put together like a, a property profile here, let me find one. Uh, So a property profile is just a, a page that's um, that's talking about a specific um, piece of property. So a page like this that has information about a home that you're marketing. So I will use lead pages to create a page like this that's promoting the agent, that's promoting a specific property. This way, if they don't have a website, they we can create a page like this, direct people to it, and they can still use this for marketing purposes. It becomes a powerful way of doing it. So that would be um, what I use lead pages for. So again, the website is leadpages.net. Use it for landing pages, property profile pages, and the automated emails that go out once people fill out the form. Uh, another thing that's cool about lead pages is it once somebody fills up the form, you'll get a notification that you have a brand new lead. So this is one of the top uh, uh, tools that I use. <laughs> we'll get that word out. One of the top tools I use for marketing is I'll put an ad uh, either on Facebook or on YouTube or wherever we're putting it. And then the link drives people to a page like this. Oops, sorry. Page like this where we're capturing the lead. And then once the lead is done, it'll send them to a page like this that gives them, you know, information about property or whatever it is that we're we're giving them. So that's how I use this tool. Again, leadpages.net, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it is not, they do have a free tutorial or like a free trial period, uh, but it's like 30 to $40 a month. Uh, I think that's what I, I don't know. I, I just pay for it every single month and I believe it's about 30 to 40 bucks a month. So uh, cost wise, that's kind of what you're looking at here. The third tool that I use for social media marketing and I use this a ton for YouTube, is this tool right here called vidIQ. Now I'm gonna move my camera out of the way there for a second. So vidIQ, that's their website, vidIQ.com. And what it is, is it's an, it's an analytics tool for YouTube. So you'll notice I've searched up here, let's say I wanna rank really well on YouTube for this phrase, how to buy a house. So what I can do is I can search for that and, and vidIQ starts telling me all kinds of information. The videos that have the highest number of views for this term, average views, average number of subscribers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but where it starts getting really helpful is here in the, in the search keywords. So in addition to how to buy a house, the other phrases that are searched very highly for this, buying a house, real estate, buying a home, et cetera, et cetera. So that when I'm, cre when I'm creating my video and posting it and I'm putting all my tags in there to get higher number of views, these, it's recommending the ones that are probably going to help me rank the best, get the most views, and et cetera. I can also come in here to a, comp or to a video uh, just to see what someone else has done. And so if I open up this uh, specific video, and I'm just going to pause it, especially since that's an ad. There we go. Uh, you'll notice over here, it gives scores. So here's the vidIQ score, which is a combination of a lot of different things. The SEO score, how well it's ranking for various things. But where it starts to get really valuable is down here with the tags. It's gonna show you all the tags that this specific video is using and the ranking for each one of these tags. So this number is like the vidIQ score as far as search volume. And then this one is what it ranks for. So this home ranks number, or this video ranks number one for how to buy a house and so on and so on. So that's where this tool is super helpful is being able to optimize your videos so that they get more views, uh, more subscribers, everything that you're doing with YouTube. Uh, there are free versions of this tool. There's also free trials if you decide to upgrade. And I do have the upgraded account because it is a tool that I use quite a bit. So that is the next tool that I highly recommend for social media marketing, which is vidIQ. And this one would be primarily if you're doing a lot of stuff on YouTube. Uh, and then the, the fourth and last one that I'm going to show you, it's actually an extension for Chrome. So if you go into the Chrome store and search for this extension, it's called Keywords Everywhere. And what's super cool about it 
is it's going to give you information about what people are searching for, other keywords, et cetera. So let's say that I was trying to optimize either my website or a video for this phrase, best realtor in Utah. Well, once I've searched for that, you'll notice that this extension, once you've got it set up, it starts producing information. So these are other keywords that are related to that. And it's showing you the search volume. CPC is cost per click. So if you were to run paid ads um, using Google AdWords, this is what the cost per click is for these various words. And comp, the competition. So what your competition looks like for these same keywords. Um, and then it's showing you other ones that are related. So again, what's cool about a tool like this is you can come in and say, okay, let's say you're running a, let's say you're doing a pay-per-click type of thing, right? So you're running a Google AdWords app. In that case, you're kind of looking for the highest volume, the lowest cost per click and the lowest competition. So things like Utah real estate, I mean, you know, super competitive, high, you know, here's one real estate agent in Utah. That one is super expensive. But when you start looking at some of these other ones, right? Um, so looking for a decent one. So any of these other ones where you still have a decent amount of search volume, but your cost per click is lower with lower competition. Any of those would be great. And you can export these to a spreadsheet so that you can use later. Um, it's a super, super valuable tool. Highly, highly recommend it. So again, it's great for ranking videos, ranking your website, knowing what keywords you want to optimize for. And that's where this becomes really, really helpful. So these are my top four tools that I use for social media marketing. And I highly recommend that you use it as well. So if you found the video uh, helpful, again, please subscribe. We'd love to have you here. Also click on the notifications and you'll get more tips, more tricks just like this every single week as we produce brand new content for you. Uh, if you'd like, uh, again, that document for free, that is the example of all the posts for relationship marketing, marketing to your past clients, your sphere of influence. Uh, again, there's gonna be a link to that down below. And lastly, if you would like to learn more about our services, uh, whether it be our online courses that will help you up your, uh, your marketing ability, or if you'd like us to help you grow your business, you can also go there and find out more about our coaching program and how that works as well. Uh, so with that, thank you for watching this video. If we can be of service, please let me know. Any questions, leave them down in the comments. Um, also, I'm gonna put up a couple of videos right here to where you can look at other tips, other strategies that will help you grow your real estate business. Until then, make it a great week. Wish you tons of success in marketing your business and let's go crush it. Take care, have a great week, see ya.